Welcome Taurus, welcome to Daily Intuitive Tarot Channel. I'm here to do the second part of um, November for you. I'm doing two readings. We have Judgment. There may be a second chance. Okay. I love this deck, but it's kind of large for my hands and I've been using it for long. I can still have problems shuffling it, as you can see. We had judgment, second chance in love. Okay, let's see Taurus, second part of November. Let's see what's coming for Taurus people. I hope you have been well. If you like my readings, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, come back. I'm doing daily readings. Taurus. We have five of pentacles, so there is some sort of luck, regret, but there is a key. If this is the person that is in your life or you have it in your mind and this is their energy, then they do have solution to the problem, so to speak. There is a key. Can you see the key? Um, and they can change this, so that's the current energy. Um, three of Pentacles. Look at that. You can't make that up. We have judgment, and judgment popped out when I was shuffling. Look at that. So, um, and the world card. So Taurus, um, something is finishing, some sort of cooperation is finishing <clears throat> with the three of with the three of um, pentacles and the world. I would say that some sort of Cooperation is finishing, it's completing. Um, perhaps this is, if we're talking about love, perhaps that is making your person really feeling as they have um, lost um, all that they have worked for. There is a lack, there is a feeling of sadness, but as I say, um, this is a major arcana, this is the judgment card, and um, in the position of future it tells me that it's Either the person, that's their energy, they will basically grab the key. They will grab that key here, that is in this card. They will grab the key and they will make that change. They will have another go at something. And that is a big, that is going to be a big renewal really big because we have we have the world as the overall energy so there is a completion and there is um, there is a need to start something so 
So if we are talking about love, there's going to be a second chance in love. There's some sort of phase that your person and you have been working on with the Three of Pentacles. There is the phase is coming to an end for some reason. I can clarify the Five of Pentacles to find out why. Why is that feeling? But the future looks um, really well because we have um, the judgment and it is there's some sort of release here. I can see this girl is kind of um, tuning in and, and surrendering to some um, um, energies and um, energies and circumstances that may be beyond that person control but there is a faith in it the, the, the uh, surrender has a positive um, underlying motivation it's not surrendering and as if one would want to give up quite the opposite it's surrendering with a hope for better with judgment, second chance. Okay, let's see what is. Mm. Or is Five of Pentacles? Why is your person feeling abandoned, lost? Taurus. I would like just one card, please. Just one. I don't know why there was a card that I wanted. And that's this one. <laughs> we have High priest Priestess here. <clears throat> I have a feeling um, that. Your person with this high priestess um, had a already clear um, intuitive insight into the fact that there has to be a change, that this five of pentacles, this lack, um, is a result of something and in, in, in there is that phase is finishing with the world card. Remember, this is the underlying energy for this um, reading. So to me, your person knows that they have to grab the key. Look. That person knows that they have to grab the key and that they have to make the change. Your person knows. So... Um, I am, I am quite optimistic about it. Changes are part of our life and there's no way we can avoid them. Um, and I think with the judgment, the judgment popped out when we were shocked. I was shuffling, so it has a stronger meaning to me when the card reappears in reading um, after flipping itself during the shuffle. Okay, so let's look at your career, your work. I'm going to use this. Um, Second part of November. Cosmic Tarot, one of my favorites. Taurus, work, money, career. Taurus. Seven of Pentacles, so. Um, Taurus, you, 
investors a lot and there is a feeling of um, with the seven of pentacles there is a feeling of um, I cannot wait for this to kick in when will this start bringing um, results and there is a, a, a visible there's a ten of pentacles here there's a visible um, I would say Taurus visible pain that waiting is painful okay because we've worked really hard um, with the seven of pentacles you have surrendered to something in a sense that you are actually not not investing anymore in this work in this position in this job and this um with the five of pentacles i see you surrendering waiting there is a king of cups perhaps um this is you taurus if you've got water in your sign um this may be you mm -hmm. Perhaps it's you coming out of this um, eh, with a softer, softer outlook on what you're doing or how you're approaching um, your work with the King of Cups. Um, I would say that you will be always, if you work in a team, you'll be always taking care of people no matter what. and. That is also causing you pain. You know, there are some really good managers out there that they care for the team. Um, and that is not easy sometimes. So the Ten of Swords, to me, there is an impatient sort of painful energy here with all the swords and the seven of pentacles but the outcome card is is seeing it from a I don't know why it's seeing it from a different perspective through emotions this is how it I want to clarify I want to clarify the ten of swords Taurus work what's going on here there's like a lot of energy coming at you. I see the swords coming at you. Um, so there may be some communication, a lot of communication that's coming at you. There may be complaints and sort of if you work in a um, customer service and, and you know in a department that deals with troubleshooting, there's a lot of work there. There's a lot of sharp words in unhappy customers okay let's see Taurus what's this ten of swords please Taurus work we got the star <laughs> we have the star well I think someone was trying to do their best I would say with a star, a star tells me that um, you've been trying to deal with all that communication, with all the swords coming at you, with all the emails, with all the complaints. You've tried to deal with them, deal with them in the, the, the best possible way, the most effective, um, the most effective and. and the best way you you could have and that's why I have a feeling <laughs> although there is this impatient and energy of oh my goodness I've had enough I have a feeling Taurus you you kind of have this in this position I, I see you as someone who's got that star in his heart or in his head, you, 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 you motivate it in a sense, I would put it this way, although this is a clarifier for that, but this energy is 
work together and I think because this is your motivation the star you're trying to please many people and this is just not possible and that is why we have we have the ten of swords you're trying to deal with all your workload the best you can you're trying to please everybody this is the star at your best and that's why it's really really painful when when the outcome isn't as you would want to Taurus um, if you like my reading if it resonates um, hit the subscribe button hit the like button um, I am doing daily readings um, and goodbye for now